Next, another man who loves Liz Taylor, and he's from Enumclaw. Welcome back to more evening from Two Union Square. You know, it's been about 10 years since Liz Taylor had a wedding, which makes it probably the longest time that she's been single since she was first married. And you know, every time she has a wedding, it makes news. In fact, every time she does anything, it makes big news. But if you think you know a lot about Liz Taylor, wait until you meet this guy from Enumclaw. Here's Grant Goody with the story. Here is uh, another husband here, third husband, Mike Todd. And they're at the Cotton Film Festival, June 57. He knows the easy Good stuff, like Richard her husband's Burton. by heart. Hilton, Wilding, Todd, Fisher, Burton, Burton, Warner, Fortensky. Plus, he knows lots of intimate details. Uh, she uh, does some painting. She does uh, um, kind of crochet work. She's made dolls for her kids for Christmas. Peter Forgan has kept close tabs on Liz Taylor through the years. I have soundtrack albums, I have uh, videotapes, I have uh, quite a bit on other videotapes. I have uh, the passion bottle samples, uh, uh, I even got an Elizabeth Taylor checkbook here cover. But he has also collected a few photos of this lady. Now I have 6,700 pictures of Elizabeth Taylor including her 1963 Playboy centerfold. And don't worry, you can look, it's not terribly naughty. On a nightly basis, Peter pours through the tabloids and magazines. I guess I'm a collecting pat rat. He has all but four of her films on file. His favorite, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? It was the one movie that she really got to chew the scenery with. Uh, I mean, a really good script, and she got away from the non-glamorous role. She really played it down. <laughs> However, he first fell in love with the lady when she played the Queen of Egypt. Well, it was the first time I saw Cleopatra back in the year of 1974, and after I saw Cleopatra, I just kind of went, whoa, I love this lady. He loves her so much that he even makes sure he smells like her. No, I'm ready for work. Or rather, her signature cologne. She'd probably go, mm, mm, he, this guy is crazy. I, I really don't know. <laughs> you know. But in spite of all this devotion, Peter has never received an autograph or met the object of his obsession. My, my mouth would probably drop down a couple of times. And, uh, <laughs> oh, gee, I, I don't know. I, I'd have to wait till that moment happened, but I try not to tongue tie myself too badly. <laughs> well, that's probably how we would all react fanatic fan or not. Well, I gotta tell you, Liz Taylor is not Peter's only obsession. He also has a huge Alvis collection. In fact, he impersonates Alvis on weekends at the Enumclaw Four Seasons.